Today's episode is about the magnetic reed switch. In this tutorial, you will learn number one, what is a magnetic reed switch? Number two, uses of magnetic reed switch. Number three, types of magnetic reed switch. Number four, how to make a door security system using GSM 900A module and a buzzer. Let's get started. A reed switch is an electromagnetic switch which is used to control the flow of electricity in a circuit. It is an electrical switch and can be operated by applying a magnetic field. It was invented in Bell Telephone Laboratories in 1936. In a typical reed switch, the two contacts are made from a film magnetic material. Reed switches are most commonly used in security systems like for example sensing whether doors and windows are open or closed, which we will be practically implementing today. It is used in laptops. When you lower your laptop screen, the laptop enters into the sleep mode. This is just because of the reed switch and magnet in action. It is used for safety in some devices such as food processors. The device won't turn on unless a lead is shot or other safety precaution has been taken. It is used in automotive. Some of the most common uses include sensing the door positions, speed, braking, fuel levels, etc. It is used in refrigerators. When you open the door, the light turns on and when you close the door, the light turns off. We have two types of magnetic reed switches. Number one, normally open type in this type of reed switch, the contacts remain open when there is no magnetic field. The contacts are closed only when you bring a magnet in near the switch. Number two, normally closed type. In this type of magnetic reed switch, we have three contacts, common, normally closed and normally open, just like a relay. The components that we will be needing for this project are number one 7805 voltage regulator, number two magnetic reed switch normally open type, number three 10k resistor, number four 33 ohm resistor, number five 2 in 2222 NPN transistor, number six 5 volt buzzer, number seven permanent magnet, number eight 10 microfarad capacitor, number nine LED number 10 GSM SIM 900 or SIM 900D module, number 11 power supply for GSM module and finally number 12 Arduino Uno Omega. These components can be purchased from Amazon. The components purchased links are provided in the description. First let's implement a basic circuit on the breadboard without using Arduino and GSM module. Once we understand the basic connections then we will modify this circuit so that it can be used with Arduino Uno and the GSM 900A module. First of all insert the brown and black wires into the breadboard. Brown wire is the 12 volt wire and black wire is the ground wire. Later we will connect a 12 volt adapter with this female DC socket. Now insert 7805 voltage regulator into the breadboard. Now connect a 10 microfarad capacitor with the output pin and ground pin of the regulator. Make sure you connect the positive pin of the capacitor with the output pin of the regulator and ground pin of the capacitor with the metal leg of the regulator. Now connect a 330 ohm resistor with the output of the regulator. This is the current limiting resistor. Now connect an LED and make sure you connect the inode side of the LED with the resistor. Now connect a wire with the cathode side of the LED and connect it with the supply ground which is the lower row. Now connect a 12 volt wire with the output leg of the regulator. Now connect a wire with the metal leg of the regulator which is the ground and connect it with the supply ground. Now let's connect a 12 volt adapter and check if the LED can turn on. So as you can see the LED can turn on. So far our connections are ok. Now let's connect a 5 volt wire coming from the regulator with the positive pin of the buzzer and then connect a ground wire with the other leg of the buzzer. 
As you can hear the sound, it means our buzzer is okay and all our connections are correct. Now let's make this automatic. Connect the collector pin of the 2N2222 in pin transistor with the ground pin of the buzzer. Connect the ground wire with the emitter of the 2N2222 in pin transistor. Connect a 10K resistor with the base of 2N2222 in pin transistor. Now connect the magnetic reed switch with the 10K resistor. And finally connect a 5 volt wire with the reed switch. And we are done. As you can see the buzzer turns on as we bring the permanent magnet near the reed switch. So now that we are satisfied with our connections, now let's use Arduino Uno and GSMSM 900A. Let's remove this wire and the magnetic reed switch. Insert the reed switch at a different location. Connect this resistor with pin number 13 of the Arduino Uno. Now we will use pin 13 of the Arduino to control this buzzer. Now connect the Arduino's ground with the supply ground. Now connect one contact of the heat switcher with the ground and connect the other contact with the Arduino's pin number 2. Pin 2 of the Arduino will be used to detect the open and close status of the read switch. Now connect the ground pin of the GSM module with the ground pin of the Arduino. And then finally connect the RXT and TXT pins of the GSM module with pin number 7 and pin number 8 of the Arduino. Now we are done with the interfacing. Now let's have a look at the final circuit diagram and after that we will start the programming. This is the final circuit diagram design in Soft Eagle. If you want to learn how to make schematics and PCBs in Soft Eagle, then watch my tutorials. As you can see, a 12 volt power supply is connected with 7805 voltage regulator. A 10 microfarad capacitor is connected with pin 2 and pin 3 of the regulator. A 330 ohm resistor is connected in series with the LED. A 5 volt wire is connected with the buzzer positive pin and the buzzer ground pin is connected with the collector of the 2N2222 NPN transistor and the emitter of the transistor is connected with the ground. A 10K resistor is connected with the base of transistor. A magnetic reed sensor is connected with pin 2 of the Arduino while its other contact is connected with the ground. As the GSM 900A module communicates with the Arduino through serial communication and we know that in Arduino we have only one serial port which is available on pin number 0 and pin number 1. As I always say use the Arduino's default serial port only for the debugging purposes never connected with any module. Now the question is, if we use the Arduino's default serial port for the debugging purposes then how we will connect the GSM module? Well, my friends, no worries at all. We can define multiple serial ports using the software serial library. As you can see, the, the TXT pin is connected with pin number 7 of the Arduino, RXT is connected with pin number 8 of the Arduino, and the ground is connected with Arduino's ground. The recommended voltage for GSM 900A is 4.7 to 5 volts. Now let's start the programming. This is the program written for the door security system using magnetic read switch and GSM 900A module. This program can be downloaded from my blog page, link given in the description. First of all, we start with the software serial library. The software serial library is specially designed for making multiple ports. Hash includes software serial dot h. Software serial sim 907 and n. This is a function. So the GSM module will connect to pin number seven and eight. String text for SMS. 
Text for SMS is a variable of the type string. This variable will be used to store the text message that will be sent in a text message using JSON module. Integer read sensor is equal to two. Magnetic read sensor is connected with pin two of the Arduino. Integer buzzer is equal to 13. Buzzer is connected with pin 13 of the Arduino. Integer flag is equal to zero. This is a flag and will be used to stop the unnecessary repetition of code. If you want to learn in detail how to use flags, then watch my tutorials on flags. As you know, my friends, every Arduino and Mega program has at least two functions, which are the white setup function and white loop function. Random seed analog read uh, zero. This is the analog pin zero of the Arduino Omega, and this is used with the GSM module. Serial dot begin 9600. Activate the serial communication for debugging purposes. This is the baud rate. SEM 900 dot begin 9600. This is the baud rate of the GSM module. Serial dot print ln logging time completed. Pin mode uh, read sensor input. Digital write read sensor high. Pin mode buzzer output and digital write buzzer is low so we keep the buzzer off by default and delay 5000 milliseconds which is equal to 5 seconds then starts a while loop function if digital read a uh, read sensor is equal to is equal to low and flag is equal to is equal to 1 so this instruction means if the door is closed then what to do text for sms is equal to door is closed and digital write buzzer low so we turn off the buzzer and then send sms text for sms then we send a message and then we send these messages to the screen as well so send message to a serial monitor as well only for debugging purposes to check whether the program is working or not if you want you can remove this instruction serial dot print ln message sent flag is equal to zero change the state of the flag to zero and then there is a delay of five seconds these instructions are same except uh, this time we are checking if the door is open if digital read, read sensor is equal to is equal to high and flag is equal to is equal to zero. So if the door is open then what to do? Then text for SMS is equal to door is opened. We turn on the buzzer and then text for SMS we send a message and uh, we also send a message to the serial monitor for the debugging purposes and then we uh, change the flag uh, from 0 to 1 so flag is equal to 1 and then there is a delay of 5 seconds then the white send sms this is a user defined function which is used to send a message on a particular number i have used this function in my previous tutorials just replace this number with yours and that's it this program has already been uploaded. A 5 volt adopter is connected with the GSM module, and as you can see, the LED is blinking at a slow rate, which means that this GSM module is connected with the network. As you can see, currently the permanent magnet is near the read sensor, which means that the door is closed. Now, if we remove the magnet, the buzzer will be activated, and also a message will be sent to the owner that the door is opened. Now if we again bring the magnet in here, the read switch, the buzzer will turn off and a message will be sent to the owner that the door is closed. So each time a door is opened or closed, a message will be sent to the owner. I hope you like today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends and don't forget to subscribe. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.